hello uh, welcome to today's class uh, so today's class will be again a uh, introduction to artificial intelligence uh, we will continue uh, the introduction part in a later uh, class also so today is the first uh, part of the introduction to artificial intelligence where we will look at the definition of artificial intelligence and some of the success uh, stories of AI. So what is artificial intelligence? Uh, artificial intelligence is uh, intelligence uh, demonstrated by machines. So now what do we mean by intelligence? So intelligence is the ability to perceive or infer information and to retain it as a knowledge to be applied towards adaptive behaviors within an environment or context so it's about ability to perceive or infer information from our environment so as we see or hear or uh, we infer uh, information and we retain it as knowledge in our brain and we apply that knowledge that we had gathered uh, to new problems uh, within an environment or in a context so as you can see uh, intelligence does includes uh, learning uh, reasoning, um, understanding, logic, uh, planning, creativity, problem solving, self awareness, and emotional knowledge. So, all these are uh, ingredients of uh, intelligence. Uh, this is a short uh, definition of artificial intelligence in a later class we will go through a more formal definition of AI now to talk about uh, success stories in AI uh, we all know about AlphaGo so Go is a strategy game and Lee Sidol was uh, the champion the world champion uh, of this game however uh, the computer program AlphaGo was able to beat the human champion um, you also may be knowing about IBM Watson uh, which uh, so this again a computer uh, IBM Watson is again a computer program uh, AI program which was able to beat uh, humans in the Jeopardy game. And Jeopardy is a quiz game. Uh, then again, uh, we are, we know about autonomous uh, vehicle driving nowadays. Uh, although still not ready, a lot of research is still going on. Uh, uh, here is an. Um, here is an example of a driverless robotic car uh, named Stanley um, so which was able to drive through the rough terrain of the Mojave Desert at a speed of uh, 22 miles per hour uh, and, it, and this car won the 2005 Darpa Challenge uh, similarly, uh, Boss is another car from Carnegie Mellon University and it was able to win uh, the urban challenge where it safely drive through the streets of a closed US Air, Air Force base uh, obeying the traffic rules and avoiding pedestrians and other vehicles. So. Um, driverless cars 
a uh, lot of research is going on and although still it is not ready um, uh, we uh, hopefully it will uh, research will be able to succe succeed and uh, provide driverless cars which of course is a big challenge uh, to be able to drive um, autonomously um, you also know about google duplex uh, which is actually a virtual assistant so you give uh, voice commands to it for example if you want to make a haircut appointment so you ask google duplex uh, to make the appointment for you through a voice command and um, the program will take care of everything to make the appointment for you uh, again IBM Watson uh, it created history when uh, it was able to make the trailer of a movie of a horror movie um, so the program was able to actually uh, go through each frame of the movie and in each frame it is able to identify whether it has a person whether it is a whether some people are there in the frame and what kind of objects are there uh, it was able to determine uh, the emotion of each scene um, whether it is a scary scene or maybe angry or sad what's the emotion in every scene it's able to understand and it was able to analyze audio to determine what is the sentiment associated with each scene uh, and also analyze the scene composition and based on all this analysis that it is able to do uh, it can select which frames to include in the trailer so, so it's a computer program that's doing uh, everything uh, so uh, that's about the IBM watch and creating a movie trailer uh, then with advancement in natural language processing uh, more and more of the newspapers are using computer programs to write the articles for example Washington Post uh, it used robot to write 850 of the articles uh, and this is in 2017 so 850 of their articles were actually written by computer program not human uh, similarly uh, Los Angeles Times uh, a robot was used to write some breaking news article and even robots are used to describe uh, sports match um, to give you an example um, computer program was used to describe a basketball game uh, so based on uh, some tables and graphs uh, given uh, tables and graphs of the game that is given to the program computer program the computer program is able to generate a sh short headline a long headline and, and, are, and the text to be included uh, in the description of the game uh, so the computer program was smart enough uh, to use acronyms like UNC for University of North Carolina uh, because it's a short headline so we have to save some characters so it was smart enough to know that we have to use uh, the acronym whereas when it is a long headline uh, it is using the full name North Carolina this is of the acronym and also the main points that
that should be included in the report uh, also the computer program was able to decide it um, and again uh, there is a movie a short movie sci-fi movie called Sunspring and this movie was entirely written by AI so the AI was the, uh, the artificial intelligence the computer program uh, was able to write the screenplay so when we say screenplay it includes all the dialogues that has to be used in the movie um, what are the actions that each actor has to perform uh, what should be the sound effect so everything was determined by AI so you train the AI program uh, you trained a computer program maybe using a lot of examples and then once it is trained uh, it may be um, triggered to generate the screenplay for you uh, so these are some of the things that are happening of course there are a lot more examples that you'll be able to find um, but this is what uh, artificial intelligence is doing uh, in different fields and as Andrew says uh, AI is the new electricity um, just like electricity transformed almost all the industries about hundred years ago and doesn't matter whether it is manufacturing or transportation or healthcare all the industries were transformed when electricity was introduced about hundred years ago uh, the similar thing is now happening because of the introduction of artificial intelligence uh, artificial intelligence will touch all the industries that we can think of uh, every industries will have a scope for application of AI starting from manufacturing or transportation or agriculture or um, healthcare so that's what uh, AI will do to the world and uh, we already saw some examples just now how AI is being used in different fields um, so I will like to stop here for today's class so in the next class we will look at a more formal definition of AI uh, from the book uh, artificial intelligence a modern approach so this is one of the book that is prescribed in our syllabus and we will also use this as our main book um, it has um, it has four editions uh, I don't uh, I'm not sure if the fourth edition is still out but definitely the third edition is out and maybe we can use the third edition of this book uh, so these are written by two well-known authors Stuart Russell he is the professor at University of Berkeley and Peter Norvig he is the director of research at Google um, so we will use this book this book which, uh, which is prescribed in our syllabus and in next class uh, if time permits we will also like to cover uh, the history of AI shortly um, so with that I would like to end today's class uh, preparing these videos takes a lot of time um, so let's see how to move ahead because uh, uh, yeah the preparing uh, the video does take time so uh, let's see how we can proceed further uh, but I'd like to stop here for today's class uh, we'll meet in the next class thank you bye